Complex boards with a large number of components require special consideration when doing the component placement and arrangement. The arrangement of components should do the following. Meet the requirements of production and not create additional problems during the assembly of the product. Altium Designer provides a mechanism for controlling gaps between the components with the help of the component clearance rule, where the designer will need to specify the minimum clearance value. By default, the rule will monitor gaps between the built-in 3D component models, highlighting violations and displaying gaps that violate the rule. Tracking clearances by 3D models are very helpful and effective most of the time, but not always accurate. Different sides of the component may have different requirements, such as distances for mounting, inspection, and repair requirements. Another approach is to use specialized layers that contain information about the minimum area required for the correct placement of a component. To define the minimum area defined by a courtyard layer, we'll need to place a closed loop. It can be drawn using IPC 7351 as a guide, as well as the assembly production requirements. The use of courtyard layers makes it possible to use abstractions of 3D models of components and their footprints and introduce additional constraints in the layout. To activate the ability to track clearances between courtyard perimeters, enable the checkbox Check Clearance by Component Boundary and specify the minimum allowable gap. Once set up properly, the DRC will track the gaps between the components based on their boundaries defined in the courtyard layer. In fact, by varying the minimum gap, you can adjust the layout density. By setting the gap to zero, you get the maximum allowable density under the given user-defined parameters. Another advantage of using courtyard layers is the ability to arrange components using geometric references. Correctly laid out footprint courtyards will guarantee assemblability and maintainability even with the densest component placement scenarios. In addition to board density control, you may need to control which side of the board components are placed. For example, you might want all through-hole components to be mounted on one side for better solderability. There is a design rule called permitted layers specifically for this situation. Formulate the scope of the rule, in our case we'll use the isThroughComponent query, and specify the allowable placement site as the top layer. After running the check on this rule, we find that not all through-hole components satisfy this condition, so let's correct this. As we can see, Altium Designer has the tools needed to ensure the correct placement of components on the boards the first time, making them manufacturable and operable on the first spin.